Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today I'm going to do that designer jeans video that I was asking you guys if you would like to see, and I got a great response, and I just thought it would be, I know when I was looking at different jeans, there was no, I looked on YouTube to see if there were any videos on that, and I didn't see any where someone was showing different cuts and different styles, so I thought it might be helpful. Um, just to make it easy <laughs> because there was a lot of changing and I thought it would make it better if I wore the same top and the same shoes and the same belt with every outfit because it's not really a you know I'm not trying to style each pair of jeans I'm just trying to show you the jeans so in every video or in every outfit I just wore this which is a um, navy blue tank top rib tank top I got at the Gap um, I have on a brown just that brown plain belt that I got at American Eagle, like a size medium, and then I wore these shoes. They are the Nine West in taupe, and I'll put the style name of them here, but they're just good shoes to wear with jeans, and they were easy for me to slip on and off, and they have a good heel height for most of my jeans. So I wore these in all of them, even if it's not quite what I would have worn, especially with the skinnies, but um, just to make everything the same so you could look at the length and tell. Now, um, I am 5'6". I weigh right at 130 pounds. Some days I weigh 129, some days I weigh 131, but right at 130 is how much I weigh on a day-to-day -day basis. I weigh every morning, and um, I was thinking today I should have done this video before we went out to eat at Red Robin last night. <laughs> I think I was 129 yesterday, and I was 130 this morning. But... Um, so that's my size, and you know that I'm a shapely girl. I have hips, I have a behind, and um, so you'll see how these jeans go with that shape. If you are more of a straight person, then you can probably wear whatever you want, but with us girls with hips and stuff, we have to, um, and older, you know, when you get a little bit older, you can't have your behind hanging out, even though I see some teens that don't need to be wearing a lot of the things they are too. So I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you soon. The first one, this is the genetic denim, and it is the Riley boot cut. And what I'm going to try to do is put the names of each jean down here at the bottom. Um, these are the only ones I have that are a little bit distressed, which I love that. And you can see that they're long, and you can see that they're tight. I haven't, you know, I just put these on, so they're going to stretch. And that's the thing, kind of the true picture that you won't get here today is how they wear throughout the day, but all of these will stretch. Um, I do love the cut on these. I love that they, they're a boot cut, and um, they're long. They've been washed and dried, and um, what I do is, if my jeans are just so long, what I'll do is sometimes just flip up that bottom hem right here at the back. You don't have to do it all the way around, just at the bottom, or just at the back, like that. And that will keep you from stepping on it. So, this is these. And I'll get a little bit closer so you can see. Um, and they are a pretty low rise. They're not as bad as some of them I've had. And there's, you know, plenty of room in here. And they're not uncomfortable whatsoever. Let me see the back. And I do have a, um, I guess my body shape would be um, hourglass or full figured or um, I'm not sure how you would, but I definitely do have a shape and I do kind of go out at the hips. So, um, you know, I like jeans that fit according to that. And um, so these are the genetic and... I will also put the retail price underneath the name and everything, and then you can look them up. So, <laughs> okay, on to my next. Next ones are the Seven for All Mankind jeans, and this is the Boot Cut Original Fit. And any, if I can get any of the wash information or stuff off the tag, I will. But otherwise. You can just look it up and see. But um, so these are some lighter ones. And you can see that they are not as low cut as the other. They feel, it's got a great cut. They feel real good on my hips. I don't feel like my behind is hanging out. And um, these are the ones with the really pretty pockets with the rhinestones. I think that's neat, especially with the 
light wash. And I do have another pair of sevens, but I bought them like probably three to four years ago, so I'm not going to even bring those out. I'm not even sure they make them anymore. But my other ones have a button fly. And um, I've always loved them, so I knew I would like the seven jeans. And um, I think there is a difference. I don't think seven jeans are the same as seven for all mankind. You can correct me on that, but... Yeah, this um, is the tag. It says seven for all mankind on these. This is the whole... These are more of a straight cut, I believe. And I kind of like that. I kind of like how they go straight and they make, you know, your legs look long. That's the best thing about a flare or a boot cut. Mm -hmm. And I really do like the rise on these. So I think seven is just a good jean. You know, I, I can already feel like there's a little bit more room like in the thigh area. And um, you know when you drive and stuff is when they really start stretching out. And I do know my other sevens really stretch. So. That is the This is what I hate. <laughs> Next ones are the only pair of true religions that I got. And I'm not sure of the cut. It just said stretch and I think it says I'll try to find out for you. I think it said something like the color was Pony Express, I don't know. Anyway, so these are more of a flare, and they have the twisted hem. You'll see how the hem goes down like that, and that just adds a little bit of funkiness to them. But, um, and they're pretty, I don't know, they're, they're low rise, but not crazy low rise like I've had before. And then it has the famous three religion pockets, which a lot of people like these kind of pockets if you don't have a behind, but it gives you a behind. <laughs> and um, they feel really good. They're stretch. And they feel really good through here. And the length is good. And you can see they have the white stitching. So it's a little bit different look. And here is the sock. So if you don't have much of a behind, that flap really helps. And because they're lower, it's more flattering. This is the way they look on. And I really like these. These are different. The jeans feel a little bit thicker than the other ones. And um, so and these will stretch too. And these are, I believe these are size 29s. the Hudson boot cut and I believe the wash is I can't remember it right now but I will put everything down here I did I have not put on my belt yet because I wanted you to see this this is one of my favorite things about these jeans is the double it's got like a wider yoke and it's got the double button and um, I just think that's really pretty and adds a lot to the jean these come up about the same the same you know, rise as the others. These feel a little bit thinner, and I would say these are a little bit more comfortable than the True Religions um, so far, but that's just me putting them on here today. And the length is really good. And you'll see they have a good pocket, like the True Religion does. Let me come a little bit closer. And I like that little, um, the Hudson thing on there. And you can see they come up pretty high. My underwear, well, my underwear is hanging out maybe a little bit, but. Then I'm going to put my belt on for you so you can get a better view. Okay, here they are with the belt. And I remember the wash on these is called Elm, E-L-M. And I really love the wash. I love that it's dark, but it's still got some dimension. Um, I've got it here with navy blue, but it would look good with black or white or any color, and it would look good with a black belt or a brown belt. So, these are the Hudson. Mm -hmm. okay. What 
plenty of pocket room. Okay, I really like these. These are some of my favorites. Citizens of Humanity, and they are the Morrison Slim Boot. And you guys have seen these before. And these are, if I had to pick my favorite pair as far as the way they feel, it would be these. These jeans are so soft, they feel like pajama pants. I mean, they are so soft. And I went to get them in the darker wash, just like this, and they didn't have my size. These are size 29s, and I can tell you, I've worn these a couple of times, they do really, really stretch. Um, not so much that I can't wear them or I don't like them, but if you are in between sizes, you know, I really, I like my jeans stretching out a little bit, so that doesn't bother me. Um, I do like this wash. I like how it goes down to the dark at the bottom because that's kind of funky. Um, I especially like it with this. I might end up wearing these today, but um, like I said, these are just Wow, the rise is good. It says low rise, but it's not really low. And I have heard that Citizens of Humanity are good ones for curvy girls. So, you know, that's something to keep in mind. And they're plenty long. And another butt shot. But just pretty plain pockets. I think it might have a C and an H. But I really, really, really like these. And if I were to only be able to pick one brand, it would probably be, I just really like these. I hate to say the best, because I haven't really worn all of them, but I give these just 10 all the way. I just think they make your legs look really long, too are another pair of the Citizens of Humanity, and these are the Low Rise Stretch Ava Straight Leg. So I got these, I went in there asking for some skinny jeans, and she said, are you sure you want skinny? You sure you just don't want straight? And she showed me these and said this is one of their best sellers, and I believe these are perfect. So they are just straight down, and I love the way they kind of gather around the shoes at the bottom and I don't have to put them on like a pair of pantyhose. They're not just so straight or so skinny that they're just uncomfortable or unbearable to think about wearing. And um, I just love these. And I think in these I got a size 28 instead of the 29 because they are stretch and they said that they knew these would stretch out. So, and they're very, very, very comfortable. <laughs> I know all of you know all about this, the, the stretch. But they have plenty of room in here. And um, they go right up, you know, a good height. So these are the Ava Citizens of Humanity Straight Leg. Let's see what they're called. They are the Ava Straight Leg Low Rise. And I really, really, really like these. I think if you're like me and you want something that's straight, where you still have this tight bottom, but you don't want just something, just like a jegging, this will be a good option. And I plan on probably getting another pair of these. I really, really like these. And um, like I said, so far, Citizens of Humanity really seems like a brand that I really, really like. And they're so soft. I just cannot even, I'll have to look up the thread count because it's just, I cannot even express to you how soft they are. They are like, um, almost like flannel feeling. They're so soft. These are the Joe's jeans, and this is the socialite cut. And I have not worn these before, but I can tell you after just putting them on, they feel wonderful, wonderful. I mean, these really, really feel good. Um, I noticed, too, they are not quite as long as some of the others, which will be good, because then when I want to wear a lower heel, I can maybe put these on. I mean, they still look fine, but I didn't have to roll up the bottom or anything. And I have heard that for, you know, full-figured or curvy girls like me, that the Joe's jeans, my hairdresser told me that she's got a curvy figure too, and she said that she likes the Joe's jeans and the Citizens of Humanity, and I can see definitely why she feels that way because 
these do really, really feel good, you know, through here, through the curves. And um, like I said, this is a socialite. And they're just good, basic jeans. And they have the Joe's jean pockets, and I think they always have a little something right there. Very, very, very comfortable. Really soft, and um, I can really see that I'll be using these a lot. These are also Joe's jeans, and this is a little bit different cut. This is the Honey Booty Cut, which is, I believe, made for girls like me. And what this does is it comes up a little bit higher, and it comes in at the waist. So it gives you more of a, that rip that shapely look and have a little bit higher of a rise and these are my favorites of the two but I, I liked both of them and they're real similar very soft I can really see why people like the Joe's jeans and the length on these seems to be just a little bit longer and I've noticed most of these jeans, they say that the length is just according to the size. So they just kind of do them what length they think a person this size should need. But you can always take them to a dry cleaners and get them taken up and they can put a jean bottom on them. Don't think that you have to get, you know, a bobo hem put on them. They can, you know, replace that blue jean bottom. But so far, I think I'm going to be fine with all of mine. So this is the Joe's Jeans Honey Honey Booty Boot Cut. And this is for girls like me with an hourglass shape and hips. I have to really lose a lot of weight to lose this. And if I lose all this, then I just get so thin in my arms and my face. It's just not worth it. So I'll just deal with this honey booty for a while. <laughs> And I really, really like these. So, so far, I can tell you I really like the Joes and the Citizens of Humanity. Um, I like all of them, but these just really feel good. I mean, they feel like jeans I've already had for a long time. These are fabulous. These are the Rich and Skinny Wedge. And they are a boot cut jean. And they are super stretch. So, they are just so comfortable. I mean, you just cannot imagine how comfortable they are. And they're the dark wash. I'll try to find out what wash they are exactly. But I just love these. These feel really, really, really good. Now, these are really long. So I'm going to have to take that back hem and just turn it up like that so that my heel doesn't step down on it. Like that. But I love these. I love these. So I would recommend these for any full figure girls out there too. And I know when I'm searching and shopping for a lot of these jeans, one, there is always some on sale. Always. Two, I see petite all the time. I see petite, I see plus, and I see maternity. So don't feel like if you're not a size six or an eight or a two or a four that you can't wear these jeans. You can. And they will look great on you. Just get your size. So I've seen all different sizes and all different cuts. And I really, really, really like these. These are going to be some of my favorites. And on the, they're pretty plain. They do have like a little, on this pair you can't see, it's an R for the rich and skinny, like um, embroidered right there. You can see my tummy hanging out. <laughs> And I just love these. Love these, love these, love these. And I will try to put what things are made out of, too, because that makes such a big difference. I mean, these jeans, I have a stack. I'll show you at the end of this video the stack of jeans I'm taking to my friend Brandy today because I am just loving these jeans. They are one of my, I think it was Kim, um, hair chick, said, 
These jeans are cut for women, and I'm so used to wearing those American Eagle and Express jeans that are cut more for juniors. And I think that's why they fit like so good through here and through the thighs, and um, they're just so much more flattering. I wore these the other day and kept them on all day, and I could sleep in these jeans. They are so comfortable. They are the super skinny, or rich and skinny, and you can see they're plenty long. And I just put these shoes on just for sake of comparison. I probably would not wear these shoes with these jeans because of the color. It's a little bit off. I really enjoyed wearing those funky um, Franco Fortini shoes with these the other day. These jeans are just so comfortable. And they are super skinny, but yet they're not unbearable. Um, and they're size 29. And the rise is perfect. You can see it comes up, you know, my hip bones are right here, so it's not like it's a two inch rise. And that's the pocket. It just has the R for the rich and skinny. And I love these. I just can't say enough good about these. So if you want a skinny jean, this is just the perfect skinny jean. Now the other skinny jeans I've tried in the past were the American Eagle, Gap, and Express. I think that's the only ones I had. And these, those all are in my giveaway stack because these are just fabulous compared to those. So rich and skinny, super skinny pair you guys have seen on me before and this is a pair of jeans that I got at Buckle and they are the Sabrina boot and they're size 29 by 33 and they are they run a little bit bigger I really could probably wear a 28 in these um, they're kind of a little bit bigger in the waist but they're very comfortable you know how that goes um, these the difference in these next two pair these and the Miss Me jeans these were not made in the USA. These, I'm not sure where they were made, but everybody knows that anything made in the USA is going to cost more. And so that is a, just a little bit of information there. And um, like I said, I got these at Buckle, and I can't remember how much these were, but these weren't, they were maybe 78 or something like that, which one of those pairs of Rich and Skinny, I think the last ones I got for $50. So don't think that you cannot get a good deal, because you can. So these are the Sabrina, and I really like these. These, um, they're very stylish. I like the, you can see the stitching is like white. And I like the pockets. I like this little bit of stitching detail right here. And I like the pockets. It's like good placement on the pockets. It doesn't give you mama butt or slam shut butt is like if somebody were to slam you and you went like that. That's slam shut butt. <laughs> somebody asked me before. So um, I really do like these, and I don't regret getting them. They're going to be good, just everyday jeans, and the length is real good. It's not too long. And I got these at Buckle. About, you guys remember when I got them, probably about um, anywhere from a month and a half to two months ago. This is what kind of started it. This is where it all began is I got these jeans and I got these at Dillard's and they are the Miss Me. Do you miss me? Miss Me jeans. And these are a size 30 because they, I was told they run small. Well now they're really, they're not tight at all. They're probably, I probably could have stood to wear a 29. You can tell that they're a little bit big but they feel great. <laughs> and I'm sure that I will wear them. But um, these were $100. And you can see they're not quite as long as some of them are. The length is pretty perfect. And um, I like the wash. But this is what Miss Me jeans are known for, is this ornate pocket. They have the rhinestones. I picked the Fleur de Lis. The ones I wanted had a cross, but they were too long. So I ended up getting these. And these are just fun to have. Um, in the wintertime wear with boots or something or you know like a short jacket really adds a lot I mean you can just I mean just this with a tank top and a belt and you know nice shoes like imagine a nice white crisp shirt put in and so I really do like these these were not made in the USA these were made I'm not sure where <laughs> but um and they were a hundred I'm sure you can get them on sale 
and I, these set, they sell these at Buckle too. They sell these in a lot of different places. But um, they're real, real, real comfortable. I can say that. Probably because they're a little bit too big. But that's the best thing about them right there is the pockets. 